What's up? Well, I just got back from Yosemite. Had a great time. Just hiking in the hills. Beautiful Yosemite Valley. El Capitan. Half Dome. Fast moving clouds and all the beautiful green grass and trees. It was really soothing. Really needed a weekend just to recharge the creative batteries. And man, now they are. So great. So I'm going to be working on an ability. A uh, new ability, this is going to be coming to like the 1.1 update to Songbringer. And it'll have um, this new ability where you can parry. And um, also you can charge up a sword attack and let it loose with a big explosive style damage thing. So I'm going to be working on first here today is the mechanics behind that. Behind the charge up and let go the explosive damage. Um, I'm already... On <clears throat> branch parry, so I basically have branched off a topic branch on my git up git um, repo. So this is not committed to my remote repo. It's just like a local topic only branch where I worked. I'm already working on the parry ability, um, but they're kind of going to work the same where you charge up and then you can let it go to release the charged attack. Or you can keep holding it until an enemy attacks you or you walk towards or close enough to an enemy and then you'll parry. So um, it's, kind of, it's kind of two abilities in one, but they'll actually be separately attainable abilities that you'll find throughout the world. So um, yeah, so basically the mechanic is kind of already working for holding down the parry. Let's check that out. Okay, so you hold it down, and this is all crazy weird because I got the wrong animation, but I'm essentially holding down the sword attack right here. So this animation should be something where he's like charged up, right? So he's, he'll have an animation where he charges, an animation where, I'll, where he's charged, and this is where he's charged. And then you would let go, and that's when you would release the charged attack, or he'll keep holding it to parry. So, oh, that one has one frame. Huh, the south one. The east one. Huh. Let's check that out. All right, so parry, sword, south. Frames 4-4, four, four, that actually worked. I don't know why the others didn't. Doesn't really matter. I'm going to be drawing new animations. So the point today is to work on the mechanical part. The mechanics, the code, get this feeling right before I get it looking right. Okay, good. Luckily, I haven't checked this stuff in yet. So I can jump to certain bits of co code. Uh, here it is where we release the sword. All right, so when we release, this is where we want to do the like an explosive damage style thing. Um, I want to rename this actually. This is called attack parrying, and I want it to be. Um, attack charged because it's going to be two abilities basically in one. Start compiling that. It's funny trying to type after a few weeks just hiking in the mountains. I forget. I forget so much Vim stuff. It's like what? Oh yeah. So this one you just commented out because I don't want it to be something that any um, piece of data should load. It's just something that happens dynamically, but I put it in the com in the words anyways as a comment, so I just know. But it's easy to verify what um, com uh, what 
enums, for example, have words attached to them. It at a glance can look at the header and then check the, the source file and make sure that's cool too. I really got to up my, my Vim skills and stuff. That would be a nice thing to do. For a while there, I was getting more more and better Viming, which led to this awesome, I love this thing, FZF. Okay, um, all right, so now we've changed that to attack charged, and this is where we release the swords. So we want to release some kind of charged attack, which is gonna be similar to a bomb explosion with a, just a really cool animation, Rock will go into like some kind of circular swinging um, 360 degree tile style sword swing. So a mood explode is the one that releases that kind of explosive damage. It's never going to have an element attached, so that really simplifies everything that's going on in this function here. It's not, it's, well, you may, it might actually need a story status thing. Yeah, so we're going to need this. There's no fallout. There might be the rumble. There's the damage. Damage is a wave. Oh, yeah. Some of this should become so some of these should become shared methods. Dang, there's a lot, there's a lot to this. Really, all this stuff would be kind of need to be copied. Let's just copy it at first. Where was that input system? Okay, so let's play the sound called release charge. There it is, all right. Okay, so we'll do a story system event called release charge. I'm sure that'll become necessary at some point. Um, we're gonna do a, an exp a lens shake. Hmm. What's the duration on this? You're an AI system. Uh, 
uh, about 0 0.6. Don't need this. Okay, the distance is all okay. We don't, there's no one factor. This is always max. Oh, except for maybe, okay. So there's factor. Let's just say that's one overall factor is affected by the psychedelic effect. If you're meditating or eating a cactus. Rumble the controller about like that. All right, so we're gonna deal damage. Right away. Do a delay. Oh wait, explosive damage needs to know about its yeah, its collision component and all that. Hmm. So we need a special Hmm. It might just need to do AoE damage. Yeah, AoE damage would be better here. Oh, wait, explosive damage, what's the difference? Oh, yeah, it does a secret exit. Secret entities. Hmm. So the question is, do I want, do I want the charged attack to be able to open up a bombable wall probably best not to at first this could always change later but making it so uh, hmm on one hand, it would be nice to have another way to open up a bombable wall, but on the other hand, it, it's as a design choice, like you might be confusing. It might make the game a little more confusing. Hmm. I'll start without it. It's kind of the safe route just to make this new ability more of an attack, like a, this is more about combat than it is about exploring in this sense. I can always try the other way. Okay, so instead of explosive damage, So we're gonna do an AOE damage right where the player is. Oh, maybe not actually. All right, so this is also, also where we need this stuff. Probably gonna need to pause and size. What we're gonna need here. 
pause size damage category flags. So I think I'm just going to simplify this whole equation here for how it did the bombs. The bombs went out in a rectangle shape that got bigger and bigger and bigger. No, sorry, that's more, it's more of a a lined rectangle. So you're just seeing the edges of the rectangle, but not the inside. It's not a filled rectangle. And then I'm thinking this new attack here, the uh, charge attack could do maybe three actually filled in rectangles that get bigger and bigger. So um, that it works a little bit differently than bombs and has more of a sword attack kind of feel. It's a very powerful one. So let's do... Three of those, I guess. So we do need a pause. And probably going to need to subtract. Oh, this can actually be this is, um, this is more than at runtime. Damage, each one of these needs a damage. Uh, okay, so here's where the math comes in. I want this to be something where if you're using the sword regularly, right, let's say like you're fighting the wall boss. The wall boss, you're just kind of like wailing with your sword. I really would like to, you're just repeatedly hitting the match, you're mashing basically, you're mashing the, the attack button with the, the wall boss because you get the glove item and stuff. But I wanna create this another option where you can charge up an attack, release, charge it up, release, and get about this, you know, still get through the wall boss fight with using either path or, a, or just a blend of either. So it should make the sword combat a bit more interesting. And then another advantage to this charge attack will be that it can really help out in a, just a crowded room full of enemies where you can't even see your character. That's kind of the point is you're supposed to let go and just fight with their, your eyes closed almost. Um, but anyways, this will help you in those kind of situations if you do want to locate where your character is because you can charge up the attack, let it go, and just have all the enemies around you knocked back and do a good amount of damage to all of them. So each one of these, man, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna guess at first. Three to two is probably about right for the damage. Enemies will get hit with this um, once. Even though there's three of these, this will go out into bigger and bigger rectangles. One, two, three, a big, big, you know, small rectangle, medium-sized rectangle, big rectangle, and um, if an enemy gets hurt with, say, the first one, they're already going to have a slight invincible duration, so they're not going to get a hit with the other two. All right, so we're doing this damage as a wave. We're delaying and then delay per... And this actually does not even need to be plus one because we're doing the first one even here. You need to delay per though. Probably like point one or less. So each one of these is just um, tax system, AOE damage. We got the pause size. I'm just going to throw these out so they're all. God damn it.
damage category flags. Let's throw those in too. All right, so damage category is going to be a lot like Rock Sword. Oh, actually, let's do exactly like Rock Sword. E dot attack dot category. Which Rock has? What is that? His attack category. It's just sword. Okay, it's just it's just sword. Or is it mask? I don't know, I think it's just sword. Flags are going to be definitely add the attack. No. Collision max, damage maximum. So it's kind of like explosive damage. All right, so we've got a block size. So we're gonna go auto, no. B3F size is bs.x times, so we've got one, how many blocks? Three blocks plus i times two. Yes, the y times one plus i times two. Yes, the z times ten. Just keep it real big and tall. Okay, let's hope that works. We can slow down time to make sure that it does. There's no entity to delete here. There's nothing to hide. We do want this little separate explosion in him though. This is cool. This is like a little, what is this? Oh no, that's, just, that's the explosion in him. We want just the overlay, which is like a triangle. Or an oval. Let's keep the oval for now. And we could do some other NMs too. Let's see if we can compile this and run it. See what we got so far. Oh, whoops. What we do here? Nothing. Oh, no color. Where's it at? 301. Hmm. Oh, this was based on what it hit, I think. I don't know. So it doesn't have an animation, but it's kind of doing it. Okay, we don't want any of that black smoke. None of that. Even, gosh, even these other smokes are really like, this is more bomb-like. Oh, and we're looping over I. Oh, so we want, 
Let me put this all in one function, actually. Put it in its own function. Oh, okay, yeah, it needs to go, the, the position needs to go south as it stretches out. We'll call this release charge. Or, gosh, I guess it... We'll just call this charged attack. Give me the entity. No need for the index of the button. Paste all this stuff. And here, we can go charge attack. Okay, be right back. Mountain rolls the sunrise. Okay. Okay, this is a, a good start on the mechanic. I uh, need to try this out with some enemies around. Um. You know, I would, I would tweak all these animations, of course. This is all just like totally placeholder stuff just to see the feel, really. Oh, what was I just thinking there? I wanted to change something. Oh, yeah. This, the um, As it goes out in a wave, it needs to go further and further down its position. So. I think we need to do I plus one there. Yeah. Okay. Now if this is this goes out in the right wave shape, then we're ready to try it on some foes. There we go, cool. Okay, it's too wide and not tall enough, so we need a little bit of... Hmm. 
let's just multiply the bs dot x here by something. You know, the bs y by something. Oops. Okay, I think it's a little too tall now. A little bit too tall. Maybe a little wider. Okay, we don't need this uh, no more parrying thing. We don't need this parrying. And this will become actually something called like charged, charged animation. Parry is actually when you let go of the parry. Oh, I know how to get it just to be one. How's that? Yeah, this is a logical next step. Let's work on the animations. Oh, well, I actually, actually got to try this with the, some enemies. Turn off that debug info so we can get a good feel for it. Oh, you, you lose it if you start walking. But really what should happen is you should be, be able to walk around but slowly. Okay, that's kind of cool. Nice. It's kind of what I want to happen. You can release this big explosive type attack. Really gotta try this with the... Uh, oh, this really should be better when I get it to be able to me walk around with it. Oh, because I walked with holding the parry. Oh yeah, you can do that. Okay, you can hold the parry Oh, oh, it's just because he's not in his, um, gosh, all this is kind of complicated. I think it's just supposed to be like something like this. If you have the bits, Attack flags, K, attack, charged. Whenever you release the sword, you can release the charged wave attack. Unless you parried already, but that's gonna be a whole other thing.
Oh, there we go. Yeah, so now you can walk around with it. Charge it up, walk around with it. He'll have a special animation for walking. He'll have to walk slowly. Oh, in fact, let's make him just walk slowly if he does, if he's got that. Oh, how would that work? Um, his speed would go lower. Oh, speed factor, there it is. Speed factor one. And we start it. Speed factor half. So he's like walking slowly. If you're all charged up. Hopefully that works in combination with um, the other way the attack factor is used where an enemy can affect you. I think that's. I mean, like the like the freezing wizard guys. Oh, there we go. Yeah, cool, cool. So he's like he's charged up. He walks super slow. Let's go. Normal walking. What the heck's going on there? <laughs> let's fix up these parry animations at least for now. So let's, I just want this to be frame three. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, I don't want this at all. What? Wait, wait. All right, this stuff we can duplicate. Right, the parry, okay, so there's this parry attack thing. We've got to leave that the same. But this here can be... The release charge. Or charged. Okay, since we're not using, oh, good, good, good. Yeah, that's kind of the point, right? He's just standing there. There'll probably be some actual animation going on. Let's 
get those frame numbers to be something reasonable. So it starts to feel a little more right. That might work. One E seven. Okay, now it's starting to feel a little bit better. It's not, you know, the animation's not right, of course, but you kind of get the point. Okay, let's see. It's... Yeah, it's taking a bit too long for it. Wait, do I have the glove? No glove right now. Okay, it's taking, yeah, he goes into the parry stance a little bit. I think it needs to be E dot attack dot delay plus E dot attack dot duration. Or maybe it's just duration. We got rocks thing open here. Uh, attack. Duration is 0.199. The delay is 0.1. Oh, no, nope, no, nope. it's neither of those. It is the animations duration and we'll clamp it to make sure it's all it's all good e get an m duration Let's clamp that between like a minimum we go into parry stance at like 0.2. It's gonna be super fast. Maximum friggin' you know. I think 6.18 was even too too much there. So that should be good. Okay, it needs some kind of sound at least. Let's do the bomb sound for now. I think it's bomb zero. Bomb one. a little too slowly I, oh I mean yeah, it's, it's a little too slow this when the bomb wave goes outwards it needs a little bit less delay per 
for the number of rectangles it's creating. Yeah, see how it, it's, it lagged by the animation a bit? So the delay per is currently 0.1. I'm gonna guess it's gonna should be like 0.07 ish. I'm still a little slow actually. Let's go all the way down to 0.05. I think that's better. Turn off all the debug data and that'll help. So with the right animations for the hero there for rock, that will really I think it's really gonna be pretty cool. Also, the damage. Should be times um, E dot gear dot count. Okay, item chip. So if you have the chip, you do double damage. Also, let's make this its own thing. Damage factor. Okay, so damage factor is E a gear count chip is gonna be two or one. Whoa. If you have the glove also, because the glove allows you to attack about twice as fast. These should actually be floats, just so they can be tweaked a little bit. Okay, let's test this out on the, the wall boss. I'm actually curious about this. So let's keep the glove and the chip right near each other. Don't have either. Oh, we should definitely have the glove by now. So that should double the damage. Okay, this is gonna be fun. Try out this new mechanic right away.
Be something to do with this new attack. sometimes hmm okay well that was a really good initial first impression of that attack used with the boss definitely needs something to distinguish it from the parry because hmm I think I'm actually gonna have to think about that for a second that might be it for this stream actually I got these mechanics all set up this is great so yeah, I'm gonna check this in as it is. And um, this is one more step towards having that charged attack and parry attack working and feeling just right. And really adding, adding a nice complement to the existing sword play, making it feel more nuanced, for especially, you know, you have multiple ways to use your sword um, in, in this new free update. Free, it's free. So anyways, uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something, and I'll be back soon with another live stream or video or something. Cheers, everybody.